online on Facebook or something and you come across a recipe that looks like it's good and you wonder to yourself, is it really as good as it looks like it is? Well, come along with us as we prepare some of these recipes and give them a try. And at the end of the video, I'll come back and let you know what we thought of it and if it was really as good as it looks like it is and if you should give the recipe a try. Today we are trying spiced sesame chicken with carrots and couscous from Good Housekeeping. Let's get cooking! All right, for the ingredients for this recipe, we have, we have a tablespoon of coriander seeds. I have ground ones right here. A tablespoon of sesame seeds. One teaspoon of cumin. I again have ground cumin. A half a teaspoon of black pepper. This is half a cup of cilantro. You're supposed to have two scallions thinly sliced. I cannot find scallions. Maybe it's just me. So we have an onion thinly sliced. Six medium carrots. A box of plain couscous. With the lime, we will be using both a teaspoon of the lime zest and two tablespoons of the lime juice from this lime. We need salt in both, it'll be mixed with both the carrots as well as with the chicken. Same with the olive oil, hence I did not measure these out yet. And four leg quarters. Let's get cooking. First thing we do, put the carrots into a bigger bowl. We're gonna to toss them with a tablespoon of oil and just a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now in a large bowl, put half of a tablespoon of oil, half a teaspoon of salt. Mix your leg quarters around a little bit. I don't think this is gonna work this way. I think I need to just get my hands in there. Rub the oil and salt on these. You're supposed to leave the skin on. Usually I like to pull the skin at least down, but not on this recipe. Next, we take that spice mixture we have, mix it all up and rub the chicken quarters with the spice seasoning, the spice mixture here. And again, I'm gonna use my hands for this because stirring just doesn't seem to cut it here. Make sure you get some on both sides of the chicken. I've lost track of which is my wet hand and which is my dry hand. Don't ask how I did that. So I decided to let the chicken marinate with the dry rub on it. If I had thought about it sooner, I would have done this like an hour or two before I was making dinner, but I didn't think of it soon enough. So I've let it marinate for about 20 minutes. We've learned that a lot of times when you put the seasoning on the outside of the chicken like this, it's not absorbing into the chicken and getting that flavor throughout the entire, the entire piece of meat. So I'm hoping that this 20 minutes at least gives a little bit more flavor to the entire piece of chicken. All right, it's time to start preparing it to go in the oven. All right, first we arrange the carrots on our baking sheet. And then the leg quarters, skin side down. These are big leg quarters. Hope I can fit them all on this sheet. Oh, look at that, they're gonna fit. Then we put the baking sheet in the oven. It's gonna cook on 450 for about a half an hour. 
check, obviously you want your chicken to be fully cooked, but the carrots should be brown and tender as well. For the couscous, you prepare it according to package instructions. I think I have way too many onions here, so I'm only gonna put in half. Then you put in your scallions, two tablespoons of lime juice, teaspoon of lime zest, and a half a cup of cilantro. And you mix all that up. It's supposed to be fluffing the uh, couscous with a fork right now anyways. Part of the package instructions. That means the chicken should be done. I need to go check on that. All right, I have my plated up sesame spiced chicken with carrots and couscous. So it is the complete meal here. We're gonna go have dinner and I'll be back in just a moment to let you know what we think of this meal. All right, we just had the spiced sesame chicken with carrots and couscous from Good Housekeeping. And it was okay. Um, we still haven't quite figured out how to get that flavor throughout the, uh, the entire piece of chicken yet. I'm still gonna try to experiment, probably have some more recipes to try that will be similar to try to get that flavoring throughout the whole thing. Um, the couscous was pretty dry, but I did forget to put the olive oil in the couscous. That probably would have made it not so dry. I really liked the fresh cilantro in it, but um, I'd never had couscous before, none of us had. Um, so I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. Um, it was, it was okay. The carrots, really good. Um, didn't have anything left of those. We, we ate all those up. Um, like I said, the chicken was, was not bad, but it definitely needed more, more flavoring, more seasoning to it. If you've tried this recipe, please leave me a comment down at the bottom and let me know what you thought of it. Or if you have a recipe you'd like us to try, please leave a link to that down in the comments. And as always, let's keep cooking.